Well, digging around in my stuff, I found an airline and a regulator for my airbrush. So I'm going to whip out this cockpit before I go to bed tonight. So I've, I've got I've got the whole thing pretty much sanded out. You know, I got a few spots on the bottom to fix, but uh, we're basically good to go. So let me get this together. I need to mix up the paint. Let's see here. Get out the airbrush. Sure, I'm glad I waited and uh, found the airline instead of monkeying with I'm trying to brush it on. Uh oh, somebody said something. Can't see it. There's this. Let's see what it says. Okay, that's done. Okay, I use an Iwata Eclipse airbrush for fine detail. It's, uh, I have a couple of those and a couple of Grexes. And uh, hopefully with any luck this will work, but no problem. So I don't have a whole lot of rigmarole to go through. This is water-based paint, so it shouldn't smell. I don't, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to mix this up about 50-50. to get a stick, pop the stick, stir it up. Now I can uh, spray a little uh, black on my pilot too. Give him a little dirt so he looks a little more realistic. With any luck, this is going to work, and we're not going to have a big problem. So I got the paint mixed. I got the airbrush there. I'm plug in the compressor. First thing I'm going to do is paint the seat. Let's see how that turns out. So, let's see what we got here. That is there. This one is a Dremel or a drill for that. Let's plug this in here. Put the switch on. I think I got a little too thin. Yeah, we'll see what happens. 
I got the 60 style blocks paint. <laughs> out so how am I gonna hold this on here I guess a popsicle stick I might have to remake the paint it, I, I think I got it too thin Never used this paint in an airbrush before, so I don't know what it's like. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, I'll just hold it with my hand. Hell, giving me a fit. I just don't want to. Don't want to drop it and make a big mess anywhere. Yeah, Let's stick this in here. Let me get the camera over here. Hopefully this works. Yeah, it's pretty thin. I need to thicken the paint up, which too thin. So that won't take much. We'll just dump a little out and add a little. It's a paper towel. We'll get the right consistency going before I start spraying on the airplane. Now Tom Creasy, he paints his whole airplane with this stuff. And then clears it. I ain't that brave. Okay. Come back here. Let's see how this works. That's better. That's more better. Okay. Let's get you over here. Without a camera person, it's just very difficult for me to do this. Get several light coats. I guess I could wipe it off. Never painted with water before. Right, 
think I might glue that to a stick before I drop it on the floor. It takes several super thin coats. But it shouldn't weigh anything. It's only water. Pretty good. Yeah, well, what do you think? Is that olive drab or what? Maybe I get the heat gun going and dry it out. Pretty warm in here, but I'm actually pretty impressed. I could do my uh top of the fuse like if dope goes over this which i don't know which it might tom creasy gets it to work somehow let me look in the light a little better needs a little more paint on the seat front here and then we'll paint the seat black Let me get the heat gun and we'll dry this out. I got a heat gun where? Right here. Hope it turns flat. Oh yeah, it does. Perfect. Perfect. Get this dried out and give it another coat. And we'll paint the seat and the headrest. That is perfect. And I'm glad I waited. You see that? It turned flat. Olive drab. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Couldn't ask for any better. So let's give it another coat. Maybe three coats.
Could not ask for better. Should still be in the two or three gram range with this. Not adding any weight, Pico. Of course, as John says, it all everything weighs. So. Let's see how this looks in here. Of course, I gotta, I'm going to paint the seat and the headrest yet. I'm not sure, brown or green or uh, black. Black. Man, that's perfect. That is perfect. You should get to get the inside of this. Yes, weight is my enemy. Let's paint those pieces black and uh, finish that up. So I got all this paint in here. We're not going to spray that. I'm going to brush that. brush the seat because it's pretty hidden anyway. Okay, there's that. Where's the black? The black is right. This is dark blue. The gold leaf. Black. Big turd just came out of there. If you go to um, Walmart, they have these paints for 50 cents a piece, and I got, I don't know, probably 25 or 30 of them, different colors. They're really good for detailing stuff like this, pilots and And little parts like this. I still got that steady hand. That's the good thing. I'll give you a little secret on how to how to do those uh, yeah no doubt I'll give you a little secret on how to paint straight lines with a paintbrush 
use the heel of the brush. People try to keep it up on the on the end and start to wiggle, you know, like this. You can't do that. You got to put it down on its heel. So this brush is kind of crappy for doing the edging. Let's get another one here. I got uh, Edger. And we we'll use this little one right here. There we go, right there. What do you think? Is that good enough? Looks like I got a little spot here. Of course, nobody, like I said, nobody's going to look in this thing that, that close. That's a Jim Lynch. See how that looks. And let me dry this off first. Hopefully this will turn flat. It does. Very good. Very nice. I think we'll give it a second coat though. It's kind of hot. Nice flat color. Let's see here. See how he looks sitting in there. Got to kind of as I go. Let's see here. Who's going to see it at 10 feet? Yeah, well, <laughs> when you're up for appearance judging, they got their nose six inches away from it. Okay, so we need to turn that off. That's oh, that was white balance. I thought it was auto focus. Auto focus. Yeah, I better turn that off because it don't. Uh, Okay, that's good enough. We'll zip that back. What will you paint the tailpipe area? It'll be black. You mean inside the pipe tunnel? It'll be black because the pipe is black to hide it. You know, this green is a little bit different green than the green I got on, on his uh, jacket. I guess I mixed that green. I did. Maybe I'll dust him with some green. Anyway, let's work on getting the inside of the cockpit painted. So, in order to do that, 
I want to tape this off so I don't have a whole lot of overspray. I bet you guys thought I was kidding when I said I was going to paint the cockpit. I've been saying that all day, but I didn't realize I had a uh, an airline. No regulator, but I didn't have an airline. I looked in another box that I had and go, hey, I got an airline right here. Let's just swap it out. Okay. So I need to paint all that shit there. I wasn't going to come on, but I figured that I'd do it since that I, I got the, uh, that's the airbrush. I thought you guys would want to see this. Hell, you've been through every step of the way on this airplane, so you might as well see it all. Yes, indeedy. I'm going to try to airbrush it without papering it because I really don't have any paper. I got some eight and a half by eleven copy paper, but we'll just try to keep it down to a dull roar. Got relatively good control with an airbrush. Okay, let's let her rip and see what happens. What's going on here? Why is it not coming out like it was? Pull it down and pull it back. Keep it as light as possible. Mm. 
We're going to do the Al Raid trick for the instrument panel. I'm not going to bother with decals and, and the dashboard. We'll just do the uh, black dashboard with white circles. I need to turn this around so I can see the front. I lost my tailwheel. I don't have a tailwheel for this now. I don't know what the heck happened to it. I should have should have put it on when I had it. I do that a lot sometimes. But now I gotta try to find a Williams brother one inch wheel. Well, what do you think? Is it going to be okay? I think so. We'll get there. the heat gun out and dry this and give it a second coat. Or you can just listen to me blather on for five minutes. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, with this paint. It really really flattened out nice. What is that? Well, good thing you won't see it. <laughs> down in the down in the uh, thing there thank you Michael neighbors stumping and bumping around over there. I don't know what they're doing. I don't have enough cord to reach over there. Let's blow some hot air on it. Good enough. Boy, it's aggravating to live in a place this damn small. You can't even move two feet. Trip over some book BS. Mm. I guess I just need to throw everything out. going on here? Are we out of paint? Maybe. No? 
and then the paint. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're making progress now. Thank you for the super chat. Let me post that up so the guys can see that. Okay, we got a super chat. From some guy in Sandy. Where's that? San Diego? San Dimas? <laughs> Sandusky? Oregon. Well, you're up by Gerald Champ. I I was a Eugene prop spinner 30 years ago. Morris Gilbert was alive then. Well, that looks like crap. It looked good when I couldn't see it, but now that I can see it, we're going to need another coat on this thing, mix some more paint up, I guess. Make some more paint here, I guess. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit more in there. I don't think I need any more water. I think it's pretty thin as is. Oh, crap. Feels light with not all the parts on it. You get all the parts on it, it feels like a turd. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I can't move. 
Hey, thank you for the uh, super chat. That comes from Pine Dust. Hey, great. Pine Dust, are you a member? Let's see here. We got to get the Pine Dust up there. That made my day. Thank you for the super chat. Oh boy, that looks like crap. There we go. heat on this thing. Get it drying up. Get a second coat on here after it's dried. It should operate a lot better. My Nats flashlight here. Well, it's kind of green. <laughs> It'll be fine. At least this, I, I didn't have to come up with the zinc chromate primer color. Olive drab. Go on here. Fine, just as is. Maybe I need to add a little bit, a little bit of water. Just a little too thick. Bad thing is, is if you add too much water, it becomes so damn runny. This is a whole new painting medium for me. Airbrushing with water. <laughs> it seems to work though. I guess we could uh, we could do a camouflage paint job, dope with acrylic over the top of it. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got 
Much better. Damn air pressure in this stupid thing. Mm. What kind of airplanes do you fly, kind of? Hopefully, your control line builder. Yeah. There, we got some good color coming out. The only, the only thing I really have against RC is they're all ARFs. Nobody builds nothing. Buy and fly a surfboard. That's going to do it. We'll just, I'll leave it at that. Let me uh, dump out this paint, run some water through this, and clean this up but it's nice there's no smell to this you can't smell nothing I think that's why Tom Creasy does it is his wife is allergic to dope the dope smell so wouldn't say that an acrylic paint job would get you a concourse trophy, but uh, well, it, it, uh, it should be all right for a military aircraft because it turns out flat. Got the cockpit painted tonight. We'll uh, do a little more detailing tomorrow. I'll glue the pilot in and we'll start cutting that canopy in. And I got to get the, uh, the frame taped off. Easy cleanup, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, get this back in the box. I need to put this in this other box so the lid will close. There's just too much stuff in this room. Way too much stuff. Put 
this away. <laughs> I gotta start taking some stuff back to St. Louis. Too much shit here. Get in there. Okay. All right, let's uh, take that down. We'll turn this around and put the pilot in it. And we'll hide that. I do thank everybody for uh, the super chats. We're coming up on uh, one hour, so... We did get that done in the allotted time. I have to go to work tomorrow, so I need to start picking everything up and winding down. Now, if this pulls any paper up, I don't know how because it's, the paint job is put on 100% thinner. There is zero paint on this thing. Get it dried out here and we'll set the pilot in there with the seat. Need to paint the instrument panel black and then some white circles on it simulating instruments. Just like Al Rave did. I'm not I'm not gonna get involved in a big ordeal. That's pretty good, pretty good. Now, getting that in there is going to be a trick, so it's in there absolutely perfectly square, because it, it, I only got a few thousands clearance on each side of the Razorback. I'm glad that pilot's a different color than the and that his uniform looks worn out. So that's good. That is good. I might work up a throttle quadrant. Something along those lines. And a stick like I had in my uh, Monado. Just glue a little stick in there. And I got to do the gun sight. Can't forget the gun sight. It's a military airplane. I gotta, gotta have that. Get this canopy wiped off, see what it looks like. Gotta be damn sure to get this clean because that's what what's holding back my 
Continental. I'm not happy with the canopy. I need to cut that off and redo that this winter. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. We get a little we'll get a little detail going in there with like I say with a throttle quadrant. And not much. Just just some doodads to busy it up. Maybe a box with a red knob on it or something. I'm not building a scale plane. But but I would like it to to stand out. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on that. What do you think? Did that turn out okay? I think so. All right, guys. It's been an hour. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you, uh, some guy in Sandy, and thank you, Pine Dust, for the super chats. It uh, helps me get a little sandpaper, a little paint, give Charles some money. <laughs> And it's going to help with the, uh, oh, by the way, I was, thank you, Don. I'm looking for an inch and a quarter aluminum spinner for a half A. So any of you guys got one that you get off of, send me a message on Stunhanger. Inch and a quarter half A spinner. That's for that half A Cobra. Because I want to get that built so we can give it away at the nationals to some deserving kid i'll find some kid to give it away to got a slight divot right there but we're not going to worry about it because it's the military airplane and that's the way it is all right till tomorrow fair winds Tight lines. See ya. Keep building.